Takeaway message is uh, we have uh, dangerous conditions around the ice and, wa and waterways around Winnipeg and we just want people to stay away from the waterways and stay off the ice. I, th I think there's always uh, people who are always, like you say, investigating, going down to rivers or, wa or waterways, retention ponds, things like that. Um, we do want them to stay away. People are curious about water. And yeah, I, I think, you know, Winnipeg, the, the way the weather conditions are, it freezes different times of the year. Right behind us now, the, the water's open. So, um, you know, people are probably venturing down to the Forks area here and just looking, you know, what's the water like? But uh, yeah, we want them to stay away. Very dangerous conditions. Uh, again, you got open water right behind us. So um, the water's not completely frozen. Um, thin, and ice is very thin this time of the year. The first response um, when you're submerged by cold water, like what you see uh, here today, is your body's natural reaction is to take a big deep breath in. So when you experience sort of that cold shock, um, it's a natural reaction to take a big breath in. Um, so the really the initial uh, concern we have is if you're submerged by cold water like this, if you're unfortunate to um, go under the water, your body's natural reaction is to take a big deep breath in. Um, so rapid drowning could happen very, very quickly if you're unfortunate enough to submerge your head and take that deep breath in. Um, it's going to have a big effect on your muscles as well. So you're going to tense up when you have cold muscles, you're, you're not able to function or you're not able to move like you normally would. Um, so you're going to lose strength very, very quickly as well.